done. So you've got some, you've got some, you've got some new grades, yes. At call centres like this one, it is futures on the line. Peter speaking, can I help? After five days of calling for help, students who have now hit their grades don't want to miss their places. Queen Mary University has had to increase theirs by 500 just to cope. When the announcement was made yesterday at four o'clock, the phones rang off the hook. We are worried that those students that didn't come to us in the with the first grades are missing out on those opportunities, hence why we've increased our, our places. Now, of course, that is a challenge because some of our popular courses will be full very quickly. Over 300,000 students have got into their first choice of university since Thursday, but over 45,000 accepted a backup offer when results were downgraded, and another 25,000 had to find a place through clearing, meaning 60,000 students could be trying to swap back to their first choice now grades have been restored. I got an A in my AS and then got predicted to be in the real thing. Among them, Isabel. So undeserved and there's no logic behind any of it. The only one in her friendship group to miss her offer, she still doesn't know if Durham will now reinstate it. I've just completely missed out on the feeling of, like, relief and, oh, all the hard work's over and I can relax now and I've got my guaranteed place. I have to keep calling, keep that stressful atmosphere, which I'm sort of is constantly living in my head. It's like, well, what am I doing next year? Where am I going? The Education Secretary seems relaxed enough about his future, but when he isn't sipping tea in his office, he is busy apologising. I would like to emphasise how sorry I am, and we all are, for the fact that students didn't get the grades that they truly had worked uh, for and that they deserved. We've set up a task force where we're going to be working closely with the university sector to do everything we can to expand and grow their capacity. But over-demand for some universities may mean under-demand for others. And tonight we've seen this letter from the body which represents them, Universities UK, to the Education Secretary, warning a number of institutions will lose out from this very late policy change and will need significant financial support from the government. Sunderland is among those which may suffer if students upgrade. It is possible that some students might now change their choice, but of course it's quite unsettling for students if they've gone one place, didn't get it, come to another place, do they really want to start all over again? So at the moment we don't know what the position is, but it's clearly a risk that the numbers of students could be down. So tonight, as students phone for places, questions continue about whether the government's made any of the right calls.